basically we just picked a direction and we went. And that's what kind of sets this day apart. We've talked about doing this for quite a while. We come down here to Goblin Valley every year and so we decided let's just take off and go on a hike and just see what we can see. And the unplanned piece of this, this experience is so refreshing because you go out and you see things you never thought you'd see. You go out and see things that just blow your mind. The human family comes to Goblin Valley every summer. Now Goblin Valley is about a half hour north of Hanksville. Basically, if you take I-70 east, right in the middle between I-70 and Hanksville, you're going to get to Goblin Valley. It's a beautiful place with these large rock formations and this beauty that can't be found anywhere else. The reason why we come is because, you know, we, in my family, we all have small children, and it's a place where kids can explore really pretty safely. Uh, nothing's really super high. There's easy passageways to it. And so it's, it's somewhere that's very, very family friendly. The camp is really nice. You have all of the amenities. You have a brand new restroom facility that's just been built that has showers, that has all of the things that you need. So it's very comfortable. And it's kind of become where, you know, you go to the Valley of the Goblins, you see them, and you hang out in camp. But, you know, it, it kind of gets played after a couple of years. And so what we decided to do this year is for my brother and I to just go. Just not even, not even go to the Valley of the Goblins to pick an entirely different direction and just start walking. The goblins are, everyone goes there when they come to Goblin Valley. Not everyone's gonna hike up a slide canyon like this that maybe doesn't even have a name on it or walk along a ridge line just to see what's out there. Now we came prepared for the hike. We brought our water, we brought some Gatorade, we brought some snacks, we brought an emergency kit along with some small sleeping bags so that once we got to our destination, we could sleep out under the stars. My brother Tim and I have been close for a long time, ever since we became adults and we started seeing each other as, you know, regular people. We've been able to do things that have been enjoyable, almost like what friends would do. It, it was very special because we were able to bond in a way that we'd never been able to do before. And it's been a beautiful experience because we've seen Slot Canyon, we've seen some wildlife, we've seen sites that we've never experienced before. Um, had challenged ourselves, we got a lot of good exercise, so it's a wonderful experience. We were able to see things that we were both seeing for the very first time, and we were seeing them for the first time together. Oftentimes, even though you've been brothers for 30 years, the fact is you, as little kids, you never would have thought of doing this. It was a great time just to the two of you to go out and just discuss life and laugh about old times and make new times, new memories, and reforge that bond. You're with your family a lot, and you're able to see them, you know, at home or whatever it is, but you don't always get a chance to go off in nature together to go out and see the outdoors. And you know your brother your whole life, but you don't always take those opportunities. So you, you learn new things about each other. Now, I'll readily admit that I'm a geek. When it comes to comic books and superheroes, everyone knows. But my brother is a geek when it comes to rocks. You know, I used to be a science teacher, and so the scientist in me comes out. I love to look at the minerals. I like to look at the rocks and uh, envision in my mind what this place might have looked like in the ancient times. This area was probably a, a marine environment. Uh, there would have been a lot more water here. And so it's really neat when you see manifestations of that. When you have a true friend that you refer to as a brother, that's a really tight relationship. And when you have a day like this, that's what you end up with your brother, is that you're not just brothers, you're friends. I think that everyone that has a brother needs to do something like this. Take your brother and you say, hey, let's go to Goblin Valley. Let's go to Factory Butte. Let's go to any number of places in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, Idaho, and go. And just see where it takes you. Because I guarantee it's not going to be where you think. You're not going to end where you thought you were going to end, ever. It's been a very special trip because pretty much everything I've seen today, I've seen it for the very first time in my life. And that's just, it's not often that you have a day where you can say that. This has been a day that I'll always remember.